What's happening YouTube? This is Mo Street. Welcome to the channel. And today I'm going to give you five must have mods on your new motorcycle MT-09 edition. The first mod you should get for your bike, in my opinion, would be frame and wheel sliders. The frame sliders are what usually protect your bike from minor drops and minimize the damage caused by a low side or a high side. A lot of companies make different sliders for almost every single bike from budget friendly prices to expensive. I got mine from eBay. I think they're called M sliders. They were actually made for previous gen MT-09s and as you can see I have them installed on my bike and they fit perfectly. The second mod you should have on your motorcycle, in my opinion, would be a tail tidy. Some people also call it a fender eliminator or a sports license plate holder. This so-called mod will only change the aesthetics of the bike. It has no benefits, in my opinion, other than the looks. But if you have a fender like the one I had on my MT-09 that looked like a whale's tail, change it as quickly as possible because it was ugly. The license plate holder that I got was from Yamaha Accessories you could attach it in two different ways one as you can see how i have it right now with the long attachment to keep the water off of my back when i ride in wet roads you could actually take that extension out and use the mount itself to have a more sporty short look on the rear end of your motorcycle you could find many sporty license plate holders from different companies for all types of bikes but before you buy make sure the license plate fits the third mod on the list would be tank pads. Other than the aesthetic look that it provides, it also has functions. The tank pads true functions are to increase grip on the motorcycle when you accelerate, when you brake, and when you corner hard. And it's also safer to grip the bike with your knees. You don't want all that weight on the handlebars and upset the suspension or the steering direction. I got these tank pads from Yamaha Accessories and I think they work pretty well. Many other companies make different types of tank pads. Some are rubber and some of a sandpaper material. In my opinion, the rubber pads are the best. The fourth mod on the list, in my opinion, would be to set up your suspension. Setting up your suspension on the bike will drastically change the way it rides. You got the bike with all the settings, all the suspension features, and almost nobody sets this bike properly. What's great about this mod is that it's absolutely free. You bought the bike with this feature and most people do not change the setting of the suspension go to youtube watch a tutorial video on how to set up the sag rebound and compression on your bike and once you do that it will change the bike completely and it would feel safer as well the fifth and final mod for your new motorcycle in my opinion should be a screen protector there is nothing worse than getting a new bike riding it for a week looking at the dash after washing it and you see scratches all over that's exactly what happened to me when i got the bike I got online, searched for screen protectors for the new Yamaha MT-09, and I found some on Amazon. I ordered a set of two. For some reason, the TFT display on the new MT-09 is very sensitive and it can get scratched easily. They're actually minor scratches, but when you have a new bike and it has scratches all over it, it's kind of annoying. So I went to a car shop, I polished the screen, and then applied the new set of screen protectors from Amazon. A bonus mod for the new motorcycle would be tires. I wanted to say exhaust, but exhaust is not a must have mod, but tires are. The Gen 3 Yamaha MT-09 actually came with fantastic tires. They're from Bridgestone. They're called Battleax Hypersport, something like that, S22R. They are very grippy. I'm on my second set. They do well on the street, in the wet, and on the track of course with the right air pressure the tires will work like they should that's it for now thank you so much for watching please make sure to like and comment on the video and of course subscribe for our future content see you in the next one Ooh.